Um, I'm stunned uh, by looking at the uh, proposal and the maps. Um, I can't think of anything in the last 20 years that has uh, basically raised the hair on the back of my neck more than this. Um, the potential for a catastrophic strike is enormous. Uh, you know, how you, I guess all I can say is now you know. I was shocked. Uh, I've looked at airport landfill issues in probably 15 countries. I don't believe even in third world countries have I ever seen an airport and a landfill this close in proximity to each other. They're essentially, as, as a bird flies, they're on the same parcel of land. The proposal, as I understand it, is municipal solid waste will go from approximately 80 tons per day to some 1,300 tons per day. While that may be, uh, in, under the rules in Massachusetts, a, a slight modification. I think minor is the word. A, a minor modification. In terms of aviation safety, it is a tremendous increase in the amount of food, putrescible waste, uh, and, the, and the potential for, for attracting large flocks, huge flocks of gulls and, and vultures, uh, almost unprecedented. I'm not aware of any facility uh, close to an airport that has gone, undergone that kind of increase uh, of tonnage uh, in the last two decades. So you're looking at an unprecedented increase in the, in the solid waste stream, uh, and, you're, and you're dumping it right there on the side of the airport. So to anticipate that this is going to be some minor uh, modification in terms of aviation safety, uh, you're woefully wrong. This is going to be a tremendous, tremendous impact. You're going to increase the hazard regardless by bringing this much more trash in. There's no way you can stop it. There, there's no physical way that you're, you're not going to attract more birds, and there's no way to control them until they get within range of controlling them, and by that time you've done the damage. I've been in town less than 24 hours. I've been around that airport and I've seen probably the most appalling security fence, wildlife fence, that I have seen in any airport in North America. If, if you consider that a satisfactory wildlife fence and security fence, and I challenge each of you to drive up there tomorrow, unless they build it tonight, and look at that fence, and you tell yourself, a deer can't jump over that, a coyote can't squeeze through it, and better yet, you yourself can't walk through that, then you can decide that that X marked satisfactory meets the standard of safety for the United States. Flocks of birds, I saw two turkey vultures, which constitutes a flock flying over your airfield. I also saw them move over and fly over the landfill. You have flocking birds, you have birds that are size and shape to cause uh, severe catastrophic damage to aircraft. You have an inadequate uh, security fence for wildlife and for general security. Now, this is a forms a year old, so maybe they need to redo the inspection.